Okay, so this exercise is going to show you how to work in impasto. So let's say, for example, you have a cup. Now the cup is rounded like this, and it's got lines running like that. So basically, this is what we call the internal shape of the cup. And when we do impasto, we want to follow that internal shape. So if, for example, I have um, a fruit, let's make an apple. So the apple is rounded like this. And it's rounded like this. So when I place the impasto paint down, I almost follow the shape of these little blocks. So I've just got any kind of paint here. So I'm using like a hog's hair brush flat. I'm going to just use any color that I've got. So I'm following the shape of what I see. Now obviously I have to take into account dark and light. So I don't have anything in front of me, so I'm just imagining this out of my head. So I can follow the horizontal shape as well as the vertical. So I can, for example, now with my red, say, okay, I want to start putting in a bit of vertical this way. And as you can see, it's short strokes like this. It's not a long stroke. That's scumbling when I do that. If I use a short stroke like this, not longer than the head of the brush, then I'm using impasto. So I can actually follow the shape until I'm happy with what I've got. So that's how you get the roundness of the shape, by following the shape. And you want to see the actual um, brush strokes because that is what makes it look interesting. So this is a really bad example of an apple, but you get the idea. So let's make that make it a little bit more apple-y. Make this the shadow. Let's make imagine that's light and this is dark. So it's almost like filling in a bunch of blocks. So you need to imagine in your head how this item, whatever it is, is broken up into horizontal and vertical lines. And all objects are broken up in horizontal and vertical lines. So what's important to remember is that if this is the light coming from here, the shadow will sit out here. But the shadow sits under the whole thing. So even in that, I'm going to do... So the shadow will have this kind of breakup. So I'm just imagining this now out of my head. Short, short strokes. And you can go over and over, but you always want to leave space in between the strokes so that you can see whatever the bottom stroke was. So you can go many layers, as thick as you want, and you get very interesting effects. And you see how it's happening. So there is impasto. I specialize in teaching people who can't draw a stick figure and was told by the teachers that they don't have a greater bone in their body. My name is Leonie Brown. I'm an art teacher at Life Art School and Studio. And I am a full-time professional artist. Painting for me is an expression of where I was, where I'm at, and where I'm going. There's many other 
people out there with a broken past, I found healing. So I want to share that. I want people to look at my art and feel hope. It became important to me to start the art school because I saw an opportunity to reach people. I find there's a lot of life lessons that comes through art. So I try and work with every person as an individual, make them a fuller, rounded person. You want people to walk away changed, not just to walk away with a picture.